61 degrees outside today. That's insane. If you're from the Northeast USA, you know exactly what I'm talking about right now because like eight months out of the year, not eight months, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, maybe five or six months out of the year, it is absolutely freezing cold outside. And right now is that time of year where it feels like we're kind of turning the corner and it's starting to get a little bit more warm outside. So I'm super excited. We're not gonna waste any time today. We're gonna head down into Boston and start getting some photography in. Let's get into it. One thing I find super interesting is kind of comparing and contrasting the way that people act in different cities. So for example, in New York City, when I'm filming, people just don't care whether or not they're getting in my way or getting in my shot, which I don't personally really mind whether or not they're getting in my way, but it's just something that's interesting to know when you compare it to something like Boston. When I'm in Boston and I'm framing up a shot, getting some B-roll or whatever, people are constantly super aware that I'm shooting and they're trying not to get in my way or anything like that kind of something that's interesting to note. Every time I come into Boston, my first stop is always at Hunt's Photo and Video, which is like the best camera shop in town, in my opinion. They have awesome film cameras all the time, and I love checking those out, so we're gonna do that right now. I literally cannot be trusted with a credit card three days after getting a tax return, so I actually ended up just buying something. I'm not gonna tell you what it is in this video today. I'm probably gonna make another video tomorrow all about that. But I'm gonna throw the GoPro on the top of my XT2 and we're gonna get to it. It is unbelievably nice outside right now. I've been shooting actually for like almost two hours at this point. Depending on how I edited the video, you might have seen some of those shots already, but when I was in the train station up there, I really liked how a couple of those shots came out. I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna look on the computer, so I'm not 100% positive on them, but I think what I'm gonna do now is head more towards downtown, towards like Faneuil Hall and things like that. And uh, I'm gonna get a couple more hours of shooting in because it is so, Nice outside right now, it's like 65 degrees and I can't complain, it's unreal. So let's get to it. recorded a couple different clips and realized that my audio was totally messed up so I took my microphone off actually and I think it sounds a little bit better without the microphone so I apologize if there's any audio mishaps throughout this video but for the past like 20 or 30 minutes I've been hanging off this ledge right over here shooting like straight down you probably already saw the photo if not this is the photo that I just took right here And it's these three girls walking side by side down the sidewalk. And because of the way that the light is coming in, you can even see it casting against this wall right here. There's like really long and harsh shadows. And I think it came out awesome. I really like the composition and the way that it came out. And overall, very pleased with that photo. So one thing that you may or may not know is that prior to starting this YouTube channel, like four or five months ago, the only thing that I did was actually landscapes and like nature photography and things like that. I very, very rarely did any sort of urban or street photos. Like I didn't do street photography at all, actually. The reason I say this is that back in the day when I was just doing landscapes, my favorite time of day to shoot was like the 20 or 30 minute window where the sun was setting, 
the sky was changing colors and everything like that was going on. But now that I'm doing all this urban photography, my favorite time of day is actually much earlier in the day. It's like two or three hours before sunset when the shadows are super long and the light is really harsh coming in at an angle because it helps you to get really interesting compositions like the one that I just showed you. It allows for you to do things like have somebody's shadow, you can barely see it now, but you can have somebody's shadow potentially even cast up against a wall or a window and give you just a really creative, interesting composition. So, yeah, this right now, the past two hours or so, has been my 100% favorite time of day to shoot. And I think that a couple of the shots that I got using shadows today came out really good. I'm sitting down right now just to get out of the wind because my microphone's not working and you can hear like every gust of wind. But I'm gonna head back to my apartment now, do a little bit of the editing on these photos and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. What up YouTube, we are back at the apartment. It's the next day. Yesterday was an awesome day. Not only was it a great day of photography, but the weather yesterday was perfect all around. It was just a fantastic day to walk around the city and shoot all day long. Yesterday, initially I was really excited about the couple shots that I got earlier in the day at the train station and things like that. But after looking at them on the computer, I wasn't necessarily as excited as I was about them right after I had got them. But I think that one of the photos that I got yesterday might actually be one of my favorite photos that I've ever taken in my entire life. And it's this one right here. So the initial way or the initial edit was horizontal, the way that you've already seen it. But after looking at it for a while, doing some color edits and things like that, I just did this and it made a huge difference. All I did was turn it 90 degrees clockwise so that it looks completely different. It changes the entire perspective on the picture itself. With this vertical perspective, it makes it look like there's these massive three shadows that are almost approaching you. But then as you look closer at it and you analyze it, you realize it's just these like three girls that are walking down the sidewalk. And so I think it gives it this really abstract, like interesting, cool look. And honestly, just the fact that this is one of those really unrepeatable pictures, those one of those pictures that you kind of have to be lucky and just be in the right place at the right time to get it makes it one of my favorite pictures of all time. A ton of the pictures that I take are very repeatable photos, like sunset shots of a city skyline and things of that nature. But this one right here, I guarantee that nobody has this exact same picture just because I was so lucky to have these three people walking right next to one another with the light coming in at that angle. And honestly, overall, I just love this photo. I talked about it a little bit right before I left the city, but one of the things I wanna start doing a little bit more is playing with shadows like this. I think it allows for you to get these really interesting compositions and things that are really difficult to repeat where you kind of have to be in the right place at the right time in order to pull them off. I love the way that these photos come out and I'm definitely gonna be trying to do more of this in the future. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Let me know down below in the comments which of these photos was your favorite and what you think about kind of this playing with shadows and making photos, leveraging long shadows like this. I'd be really interesting to hear your thoughts. Anyways, I really appreciate you all watching. Thank you a ton. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I make videos like this every single week. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it big time. And I'll see you next week. Peace.